Yes. So Jackie Jones, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we would like you to share your experience about uh, MetaPower and how it's impacted you. Yeah. Okay. So before we sort of go on to the MetaPower, I'll tell you sort of a little bit um, what's been happening over the last year. So for me, um, about a year ago, had some issues with liver, was diagnosed with diabetes. Um, and then, okay, so we've been working with that not managed to make much of a change with taking the med medication um it stabilized but you know uh, when you take your bloods it wasn't coming down to where i wanted it to be and tried from all the different types of food from from literally eating raw food to juicing to just eating very healthy salads and all of that um nothing made an impact at all uh not a slight change it just stayed the same and then last November, December, after having COVID, uh, started to get heart problems. So I ended up with high blood pressure. Um, there is something there wrong with the heart because as a bioresonance practitioner, I can see what's going on. Um, and that I'm waiting for a heart monitor to know exactly what the cause of that problem is. But started MetaPower last Monday week now. Um yeah. After four days, my blood pressures have stabilized and they've stayed stabilized there, 132 over around 80. So that's pretty normal. Um, How much is it normally otherwise? Um, okay, so when I first got sick, they were 200. Oh, wow. So they were very high um, and my pulse was 120. Um, and nothing changed. It wouldn't, you know, so gradually with medication, it was the blood pressure was coming down. Pulse didn't change. Um, but now, whereas it would be like up and down, it's now it's, it's 132, 130, uh, over 80, 84. And it stayed like that since Monday week. Mm -hmm. um, the sugars were around 167, 140. Seven ish but I, that was as far as they would go within four days I was getting 92s 112s 120s um sometimes 130 but the best I got was the 92 and in the evening was always my highest um and the evenings have been much more lower as well um so they're gradually coming down they're not stable yet, but then we are only sort of a week and a half into it. Um, so I think that's going to take some time. Obviously, I'm I'm walking in the mornings and I'm walking again in the evening. So I do like 15 minute walk in the morning um, and I do about 40 minute walk in the evening, depending on how my heart feels. Um, so my pulse is still up, but we are down to about in the 90s. So it's still up, but it's still not as high as it was. Um, so I'm hoping that's also going to help that. Um, but I'll know next week when I have the heart monitor whether there is actual damage in the heart or it's just the heart just needs time to repair um, from that's that. Amazing. So it's so yeah. good staying at 90. That's brilliant. Wow. Yeah, yeah. because even the doctor was like, that's high. <laughs> Hello. Um, and the hospital said the same, but... There's no apparent reason or rhyme why it's just, I literally got up one morning and it started. So I'm hoping I'm going to get up one morning and it just stopped. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's nice to see it all coming down. The sugars yeah. have gone a little bit up this week. Um, but I, I've put that down to probably eating more carbs than I might have done the week before. Yeah. Um, I'm living in France. Sometimes the croissant's a bit too tempting. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, so but on a whole, really stable, much much more stable than it's ever been in the whole year for me. So, um, what have you found most useful um, when you are uh, doing the metabar system? What I what is your regime, and if you can share with us? Yeah, yeah. So in the morning, I do my drops in my water bottle. Yeah, um, um, and two drops in there in the morning. Then I take my two gel tablets. Obviously, at the moment, I'm still taking my medication because until it's stable enough, once it's stable and consistent, then I'll, 
you know, for me, then I think it's safe enough to sort of start talking about coming off of it. Um, I take my LLV in the morning with that. Um, so it's quite important I, to take lifelong vitality, the supplements, right? Um, yeah, I, I think so. Um, obviously, for everybody, it depends on cost, doesn't it? Because trying to do Metapat and lifelong vitality is expensive, you know. Um, so balance it. So what I do sometimes... I've been taking the LLV for a long time. Um, so some months I might only take two a day and another month I'll take the four a day. So just try and juggle it around, really. Yeah. Um, but at the moment I'm taking the full quantity of the mm -hmm. LLV and I also take the Terrazymes um, because I find they really help with the nails and the digestive issues anyway. Um, so I take them on a regular basis, those. Um and then lunch lunchtime, I've been taking this. I was taking the assist halfway through the uh, evening meal, but I've moved it to lunchtime mm -hmm. just to see if it what the difference is um, on that. Um, haven't noticed any difference yet. I only moved that sort of yesterday, the day before. Um, and the advantage, I've moved to the evening. So I've sort of swapped them around. Um, I would like to take two assists, really, but there's not enough in the bottle for the month um, to take two a day at the moment. But if they, you know, if eventually we can buy extra, then I would probably take more assist. Um, so I'd take it lunch and evening meal. And then at night, I take two gel capsules when I get into just before bed with the rest of my LLV again. Okay, so you take one gel cap in the morning and two gel caps in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then obviously I just split my LLV morning and evening um, as well. Um, and then obviously somewhere in the afternoon, late, early evening, I'll take the advantage. Um, and I've been putting my super greens in with it, which actually tastes yeah. better. <laughs> Who gets rid of that green shot? Yeah, <laughs> that's a idea. So do you find it any difference with the collagen? Um not yet. I haven't found any difference. Um but I think it might it's, be early supposed with, it's supposed to be helping with blood pressure. Yeah, well well maybe that it has made the difference because the blood pressure is really stable then. Um yeah. On, on that, that is, I mean, that is definitely consistent now. Every day I get up, I take my blood pressure morning and night and it's consistent, you know, within a couple of points or so, the blood pressure is the same near enough every day. Wow. Um, that's really good. Um, yeah. I was just waiting till I see the heart doctor, whether I can come off it and see if then I'd like, then that's when I'd like to see if it stays that way. Then yeah. that would, you know, then that's one one problem off the list. <laughs> Brilliant. So oh, I'm so happy that um you know it's made a positive impact for you. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to share? We can end the yeah. call. And so what I have also been doing, so I did all my measurements to start off with. Uh -huh. Um so I got a body chart and I measured from arms, chest, waist, uh, legs, thighs, calf, the whole lot. And on a total all whole of the body off seven and a half inches in one week. Wow. In one weight, week. Weight didn't change. No. Um but um <laughs> um oh, inches um, Ian. Ian. <laughs> nice is serving you some lunch. Yeah, something like that. Well, he'll like it. I won't. <laughs> <It's got all laughs> um, yeah, so that that was quite significant, I think, as well. That although the weight hasn't changed yet, yeah, yeah, um, the inch loss was quite considerable. Like on my waist, it was two and a half inches. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so I think it possibly also for me. I wonder if it's helping more with because the fats are not taking in the cells are not taking in the fats then the fats are breaking down better yeah so i would say it yeah wow that's brilliant thank you so much for sharing that jackie 
Um, and thank you so much for coming on this call today. Uh, sorry, I was late. <laughs> Fine. We look forward to hear from you um, again on how you're getting on.